Did you know that you can earn up to 10% annual yields in Bitcoin just by locking your SDX? Well, in this video, we will introduce you to stacking, a way to essentially freeze your SDX in order to earn Bitcoin yields, interest on your SDX, so to speak. We will first explain where the Bitcoin yield comes from and then provide you with two examples step by step on how to stack SDX. But before we get to the tutorial part of this video, let us first give you a quick overview of the process. By locking up SDX tokens on a network, or stacking, you provide valuable security benefits to the network. When you stack, you earn Bitcoin that miners transfer as part of Proof of Transfer, Stack's unique consensus mechanism. If you want to know more about this mechanism, you should check out our video on Proof of Transfer. Stacking providers have made it easy for you to participate in a way that fits your needs the best. There are multiple ways to stack and earn Bitcoin, on an exchange, in a non-custodial stacking pool or by yourself. When we talk about a stacking pool, we mean a group of people that stack together to reach the minimum requirements of SDX that enables you to enter the stacking cycle. Stacking without a pool is possible too, but you will need a lot of SDX for this. Which way is right for you? Well, that depends on how experienced with crypto you are and how much SDX you have available. For now, we will go through two of the easiest ways to stack SDX. Remember, there are multiple other ways to do so, so don't forget to check out the Stacks website to evaluate all your options before choosing your strategy. We will go through the options of stacking SDX with a non-custodial pool and an exchange. For the first option, we will use the mobile SDX and BTC crypto wallet called Xverse. The benefit of stacking with Xverse compared to an exchange is that the Xverse wallet is a non-custodial wallet and therefore uses a non-custodial pool, meaning you have full autonomy over your SDX. This, while Xverse still brings you a full mobile stacking experience. However, the only thing that you should keep in mind is that stacking with Xverse can only be done if the stacker has a minimum of 500 SDX available to stack. If you do not wish to stack 500 SDX, you will have to use a different stacking option. An alternative to this option would be stacking with the Binance Exchange. If you would like to check out that option first, you can go to the timestamp below that says stacking with Binance and check out how to do so. If you start on the mobile web version of the Stacks website and go to stacking, you will be directed to either the App Store or the Play Store, depending on which type of operating system you own. You can always directly go to the Play or App Store if desired. Now, after you downloaded the Xverse wallet, you will have to create an account, carefully write down your word phrase and choose a password of your choice. If this is your first time using a wallet outside of an exchange, we advise you to watch our video on crypto wallets first before continuing. So, after you successfully created your Xverse wallet account, you will need to transfer SDX to your Xverse address. Depending on which exchange you use, the user interface will slightly differ, but the idea remains the same. For Binance, you go to Withdraw, select SDX and go to Send via Crypto Network. You then type in the SDX address of your Xverse wallet, which you can find by going to the Xverse app, click on SDX and click Receive. You then copy this address and paste it in the app of the exchange your SDX are currently stored. For the Xverse wallet, a memo isn't needed. You can now select the amount of SDX you would want to send. Remember, this should be above 500 in order for you to stack SDX with the Xverse wallet. Click withdraw and click confirm. Again, if this process goes too fast for you, we advise you to watch our video on using a stacks wallet. When you have received your 500 plus SDX, you can start the process of stacking. Go to the middle icon on the bottom of your screen. Here you will be provided with the option to earn BTC by stacking SDX. If you click on the large button, an information pop-up will be shown. Here, the minimum balance, estimated annual yields, next cycle, reward cycle, pool fee and registration deadline for the next cycle will be displayed. We advise you to read everything through with care before continuing. 
The notable thing to say here is that as shown here, the stacking process works in cycles. You therefore sometimes have to wait for the next cycle to start in order to start stacking. Bitcoin rewards are distributed after the cycle ends. However, since you can better be early than late, we will go on with the stacking process by clicking on continue. On the next page you will add the amount of STX you want to lock, add the total of cycles you want to lock your STX for and type in your BTC wallet address for the reward distribution. The automatically selected reward address is your own Xverse BTC address. If you prefer your reward to be sent to another BTC wallet, feel free to change accordingly. Once clicked continue, you will get to see the estimated time that your SDX will be locked together with a summary of the process you just went through. You then click confirm, enter your passwords and the stacking process has begun. If you go to the locked tab, you will see that the stacking status is pending, as it will take some time to process your request. After this, you will have to wait for the upcoming stacking cycle to start and you can start stacking. This meaning that your SDX will be locked up automatically and you would just have to wait as long as you have chosen to stack your SDX for. After the chosen period has ended, you can start claiming your rewards. Now, you've been through the full cycle of stacking SDX and claiming BTC. Well done! Stacking with Binance It is also possible to stack SDX on the Binance exchange. The benefit of this is that you do not need a minimum of 500 SDX. However, it is a custodial wallet, meaning you do not have full custody over your own crypto. If you want to stack with the Binance app, you will have to go to your wallet overview, go to Spot, click on SDX and click Binance Earn. Here, a screen will pop up that will give you the annual interest rate and the duration of the stacking cycle. You now can choose your preferred option. As you can see on the example video, two of the three options are sold out. This is because stacking is just announced on Binance and they provide the first stackers with a limited higher annual interest rate. We expect you to be able to choose one of the three durations again in the near future. However, for now we will choose the 30 day stacking option. Now you will need to add your locked amount, check everything carefully, agree with the service agreements and click confirm. Well done, you have successfully stacked your SDX. If you go to the earn tab in the Binance app, you will see your locked staking SDX amount on your screen. Well, this is the amount you have stacked. Congratulations, you are now able to stack SDX. Again, remember, you cannot access your locked SDX when stacked, so always make sure you do not stack with the SDX you intend to transfer or spend in the near future. It's not possible to, so to say, cash out in the middle of a cycle. On that note, we wish you all the best with your stacking activities. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to educate yourself about other Stacks ecosystem activities, watch one of our recommended videos shown on your screen. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.